What we do to get out of an emotion is we finish up blaming ourselves as if we're the first to blame. And when we do that, when we feel we're the first to blame, it helps us get out and skip out of lots and lots of different emotions. So it's used as a technique to avoid causal emotion. So what's happening for yourself a lot is you, as soon as we start on an issue, you immediately go back into blaming yourself every single time. So if, oh, there was three or four issues that you brought up today so far, and every time I tried to focus on what the truth is, like mum and dad were to blame for that, you wanted to blame yourself instead. I took, I took the blame for my siblings because I know. They, they couldn't take it. And but this is, as this, much as I got flogged, I thought I'm not gonna cry. This is your addiction. This self-blame is an addiction in you. You've become so addicted to it, it now defines you. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. and, and to get to causal emotion, you're going to have to stop blaming yourself and see the truth of what actually would happen. What actually happened was not your fault, but you want it to be your fault so that you do not have to feel the other emotions underneath that. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know how I'm going to do it though, but it makes sense. Well, one way to do this from now on is every time you open your mouth to blame yourself, instead of doing that, pray to God at that instant. <coughs> so don't open your mouth to blame yourself, but instead pray to God and say, I know you, know you feel unworthy. Just say those words to God every single time you want to blame yourself. Because God actually feels you're worthy. God feels, God wants a relationship with you, right? So God feels you are worthy, just as worthy as I am or any other person is, to receive her love. Now, you don't believe that at the moment, right? But if you can, so every time you open your mouth to blame yourself, instead of saying, oh, it's because I did this, I did that, but that, that is your addiction. Recognise the addiction. And recognise the addiction in every one of your relationships. I know it's even felt safe to have the addiction because I know that one. Yes. It's, it's, I, I came to that the other day. It feels it's, good because I know that. It's I'll your safety place. Yeah. Yeah, it's your yeah. safety place. And I know it sounds a bit strange. It might sound strange for some people that, to hear that that's your safety yeah. place. But in reality, it's the safety place of many people. They are actually addicted to feeling their self-shame because they don't want to feel some other terrible emotions like feeling unloved by anybody, for example, is a worse emotion. It's better if I can just punish myself and say, I want to blame for nobody loving me. Does that make sense? Yeah. Now, I've been through this emotion lots and lots. No, I've felt you had it. Yeah, so, so I, can, I can understand how much it is to go into that self-blame place and how tempting it is every time. But if you do it, if you do it, what you're doing is you're staying away from the real emotion that's going to help you grow. Right? So you need to at least at some point start recognising this is an addiction in you. You want to blame yourself so that you don't feel the other emotion, whatever the other emotion is. And just, just write that down or whatever and then ask yourself, what is the other emotion? The other emotion might be, my mum and dad didn't love me. The other emotion might be, I'm unlovable. Right? And that's the emotion that, that you can skip over. You see, if, if you're to blame for not being loved, that's easier for you to bear than just that your mum and dad didn't want to love you. Right? It makes more sense to you if you're to blame for it. Right? But it's actually not true. You're not to blame for it. Can you see where you need to go with that? So have a look at that as it's an addiction you have to blaming yourself. How many of you feel after that discussion that you've got an addiction to blaming yourself? No a few? I've, I've had that, so it's a pretty common addiction. And the key is to get out of that, because what, that addiction is stopping you from getting into the underlying emotion, which is even worse, like it feels worse. That's why we do the addiction. I'm going to be like I was this week. No, what you would do is when you get in the underlying emotion, you might feel for two hours and you'll come out of it feeling totally different. The problem with the addiction is it keeps you in that place for years and years and years and years and years and then the underlying emotion, which needs to be released, can't get released 
and so you can never feel different. But when you feel the underlying emotion, it might only take two hours, it might only take a day or two, it might not take long at all. Once you release the underlying emotion, the addiction will no longer be needed either. You just give up your addictions. And also, the causal emotion will be gone and you'll feel totally different to you than what you've got before.